You say that every time we fly over these mountains. Well, they haven't changed. They're still the same. Getting the side. When I retire, this is where I want to live. Oh, really? When are you planning on retiring, old-timer? Oh, I'm serious. It's a part of the country to live in. Lots of land, nice, quiet, easy living. doing up there? We're on our way to Tanner City to pick up the payroll for the logging camp. Yeah, we saw a couple of guys fighting. They were in a blue sedan. One was shot. The other guy pushed him over the cliff down a deep ravine. Then he took off. Not just robbery now. Looks like murder. What do you mean robbery? Got a call about a half hour ago. Just like you boys won't be making your deliveries for the logging camp today. What do you mean? What happened? Uh, the bank was held up to took the payroll and they forced Charlie Conlon to tell us to drive him away in Charlie's car. A blue sedan. You mean the bank in Tanner City? That's right. You got to be along any minute. I flew up the mountain to see the shooting. About two miles. Guess he figured he didn't need a hostage anymore. Well, why do you have to shoot him? I don't know. Looks like Charlie was trying to get away. They sure were fighting. Well, I don't know what happened. He shouldn't be here by now. Think he turned around? Well, we've got him trapped either way. Both hands are blocked. 
I might have taken a side road, you know. Yeah. Say, Steve, take one of the cars and go on up the other road, will you? So, Bill, you stay here and alert the roadblock on the other side of the mountain. Boys, if you'll give me a lift, we'll take a look around. Sure, come on. Good. Sergeant Ullman. Sergeant Ullman. Helicopter 38 Bravo to Sergeant Ullman. Come in, please. Sergeant Ullman. Come in. I think Lieutenant Germain, the sedan from the hold up at Tanner City may be headed your way. The robber has shot his hostage. Be dangerous and armed, so proceed with caution. Over. Got it, Lieutenant. Over and out. Now what? Let's see if we can get to the body. It's a few miles back. I think I can find the place. out of the ravine and your patrolman can take it to the sheriff's office in Tanner City. Oh, good. I suppose there is someone there who can identify it, huh? He lives with his mother. Oh. Well, that's one job we don't have to do. Tell her about it, huh?
that shotgun blast. Throw in the face. Cold blooded murder. They get the chance for this. Let's find him first. We'll find him. A lot of land down there. A man could lose himself real easy. Helicopter 3 8 Bravo to Sergeant Oman. Helicopter 3 8 Bravo to Sergeant Oman. Keep your eyes open for that blue sedan. Over now. You know, he's got a point. It isn't logical to kill him try to drive through town. Oh, maybe so. Let's get to the sheriff's office, Chuck. Right, Rick. I'm Riley. Hi, Lieutenant. Sheriff here? Yes, uh, he's right here. Riley, take Mrs. Condon home. Yes, sir. Now, boys, Lieutenant Jumain. Sheriff, hi. Is that the boy's mother? One part of my work I really hate. She make an identification? Yeah. Why should anybody want to kill Charlie? Bess Parker stars as the rugged frontiersman, Daniel Boone. Where are we? I'm all turned around up here. We're on the other side of the mountain from where your roadblock was. Not very likely to be over here. You'd have to drive through town and take a chance on being seen. Probably would be a good idea to check the Sergeant Oldman again. Got him for a wavy team. Helicopter 3-8 Bravo to Sergeant Ullman. Helicopter 3-8 Bravo to Sergeant Ullman. Come in, please. This is Sergeant Ullman. Anything on that blue sedan, Sergeant? Not a thing, sir. Well, we'll be covering the area on both sides of town. If you see anything, call me. Over and out. You want to take a swing over to the other side of the mountain now? Good. Check in with the other roadblock. Down there. Yeah. I'm going to swing back over the other highway, see if we can spot a side road. We didn't see one before. You got a better plan? Yeah. Nothing. It's been a waste of time and gasoline. You're sure right about that. Hey, maybe the sheriff's search party has found something. It's a good idea. If we keep on drawing a blank, maybe we join up with him, huh? Down there. How that car? You must have just passed your second roadblock. Sitting raising for me, we PC. Everything is all fire down here. No sign of any car. What about the convertible we saw? We just saw a white convertible a few minutes ago. What do you mean no one passed you? No convertible or any other car pass here. All right, stand by. Over now. You know, the only place that white convertible could have come from was Pop Turner's motel. Sheriff Harding's bound to have checked out Pop's place. Of course. I don't want her to have a look. There's the motel. I'll set her down in the parking lot.
you expect to catch anything with those homegrown worms? He couldn't catch a child with a six-foot net. Trout floating belly up three feet from shore. Oh, is that so? Well, I caught the biggest one's ever been pulled out of that stream. I'd catch a whole lot more, too, if you fellas didn't come around so much with that whirling thingamajiggy right around him. <laughs> How you doing, Pop? How's the Isaac Walton in Tanner City? Just fine, son. You boys come up here to do some fishing? No, not this time. This is Lieutenant Germain of the State Police. Oh, glad to know you, Lieutenant. Hi, Pop. How are they, buddy, Pop? Oh, great. Caught the biggest two-pound speckled I ever caught in my life. Fighting better than they have in weeks. I just come back before you boys got up here. See, I had to ask more bait. Mm, I'd like to hear more of your lies, Pop. We're here on business. Ain't no lie, I tell you. Why, when I got a hold of that trout, you... What kind of business? Has the sheriff been up here to see you? I ain't been here since sunup. Why? Well, the bank in Tanner City was held up this morning. Charlie Condon, the teller, was killed. What? Young Charlie killed? If the sheriff was here, it was to check on your guests. Maybe you can tell us. Tell you what? I sure you have staying here. Oh, well, we got some folks over there in number three. Then, uh, oh yeah, number six, too. You know them? Well, the people in number three, they've been coming here for years. Uh, -huh. uh how about the people in six? Oh, that's a young fellow in there. He's, uh, he's single. His name's, uh, uh, yeah, Thursby. You know him? No. Nope. Mind if we take a look in his cabin? Well, of course not. Come on, this way. Hey, Lieutenant, this could be the car we saw. Come here, Chuck. Take a look at this. I know Charlie and his mom for years. Know his pa, too, before he died. I'm sorry, Pop. I reckon you city folks get used to this, being able to hear about it and all. I'll never forget this one. Well, worst thing that ever happened in this town is when the sawmill burned down. But murder don't seem to fit into things around Tanner City. Blood all over the front seat. Yep. Whoever's driving this car was shot, too. Yeah. Pop Thursby is driving this car? Yeah. Or no. No, he was driving a, a, a white convertible. I, I wrote the license number down in the registry book. I'm sure it was a white convertible. This, this, this here is Charlie Condon's car. But what's it doing here? Uh, Pop, you come to town with us. What car? I think he wants you to make an identification. Well, I'll come. But I won't ride in that bus saw you're flying around in. Anything that'll scare a fish ain't fit for a fisherman. I'll drive my truck in. Okay, we'll meet you at the sheriff's office. Come on. All right. Well, obviously, Thursby's our man. After he killed Charlie, he hit out. And he came back here and picked up his own car. The question is now, where is Thursby? He ought to be here by now, shouldn't he? He'll be along in a minute. You know, Chuck, if what you say is right. Here he is now. I'm sure. That ain't Condon, it's Thursby. I told you that when he signed the register, I saw that ring on his finger with the big blue stone in it. How could a man miss it? There's no doubt at all in your mind, huh? No, there ain't no doubt in my mind. I've known Charlie Condon ever since he was that big. Say, what's this all about, anyway? Well, I'll tell you later, Pop. Your hunch was right. What tipped you off? Well, it had to be someone that knew the country. When we flew over the ridge to cut him off, he knew what we were doing. Now, a stranger would have kept right on coming, but he must have doubled back and then waited on some old logging road.
Where is he, Mrs. Condon? Charles always wanted to leave Tana City. We both did. There was never enough money. Then did Mr. Thursby come to see him. I knew he was no good. Where is your son, Mrs. Condon? I heard them talking. Mr. Thursby was no good. He told my boy how they both could get a lot of money. You identified this Thursby as your son. Why? You thought I was crying because it was my baby. Mrs. Condon, he, he killed a man. I know. That's why I was crying. Got to arrest him. Oh, no. You won't have to do that. My baby couldn't go to prison. Who would take care of him? Mrs. Condon, where is he? My little boy. He's in his room. You must be very quiet, though. He's asleep. You see? the payroll money, Chuck. Thank you, Sheriff. What's going to happen to Mrs. Condon? Uh, we're sending her to the hospital. Looks like she's going to get out of Tanner City after all. Yeah. Come on, BT. If we hurry, we'll be able to get the payroll up to the logging camp after all. See Bye. you next trip. Bye-bye. <laughs>